Oh hey, the helpful robots that were waiting to deliver inserters to me actually turned out to be a big help. I just had to walk up here, and here we are. Let's put some of the wood in there. I need a place to store all my large wood. Alrighty. Someone once compared my LP commenting style to... It sounded like I was quote-unquote macking on a chick. I don't think I'm comfortable with that. I don't think I approve. Obviously, never mind. Also, one thing we can do... ...is continue the line here and set up a little... What the fuck? Set up a little thing. There we go. And, uh, supply passive provider chests. Give me the circuits. I need it more than research does. You'll see my plan. I mean, it's not, not a very complicated plan. But let's say we put them... Of course it had to be right here where it needs to be. Oh well, that's Factoria, you know, dealing with the issues that pop up in your factory. In a reasonable and competent way. Copper! Copper's becoming the new iron very fast. Okay, but here's the plan. At the end of the line, we have boxes. I'm not gonna box up... They're not gonna be, like, unlimited boxes. I just want one stack of each ready, so that should I need to be resupplied... Oh, two stacks. Two full stacks, which is a hundred plates of these things. There we go. So this way the system has these raw materials in there. So when I ask to be supplied them, it can. You'll notice we have... Now, bunches of robots. Over a hundred, which is nice. So now anytime I'm below 100 on these materials, I will ask to be resupplied and the logistics system will handle it pretty easily. <coughs> I loves me some interruptions. One, two, three, four, five, six. And once we've got set that set up, honestly, I could even uh, blueprint this little loading area because this is... I'm sure there's better ways to do it. But this is... Uh, Alright. Also, we can figure out a place for all these damn accumulators. You know, right out here ain't a bad place, really, sort of. If there were any open sp Okay, there's an open space over here that isn't being used very much. And remember, these things could be anywhere in... as long as they're connected to the power grid. So here, have the worst configuration of these damn things you've ever seen in your life. There, over here might be good again. Right now the steam engines are actually powering up the capacitors. Fun fact. There we go. I mean, if we have them in our inventory, we may as well use them. We're almost ready to get this show on the road, though. All the inserters have been crafted. I need to store a lot of this shit in a chest. Like the old, outdated shit. Also, I heard a rumor that the game likes to eat your alien artifacts when you reload saves. If they're in your inventory. So there's 91 right now. We'll just keep a track on that. 
And we just want these to load as quickly as possible regardless of any other variables. And actually, uh, let's do it like that. And then maybe fast inserters at the end so that they're definitely getting picked up. <clears throat> Let's give this a go. Let's let's hook this entire system up and see what it does. Aside from make the biters pissed at us. Go! Okay. The ore cometh. Again, not much, just six more mines worth. The ore proceeds here. It is split one to one. It is loaded onto the train, which now displays the ore thing, which is good. This belt has a longer way to go. Not really sure how to address that with the way I've set things up. But yeah, you can see it's being loaded right now. So the system is going. And we'll undoubtedly piss off the biters. Alright, let's set it up. This is... Grayson Brewer is the mine station, so we want it to stay there 25 seconds. And the unloading station, let's say 15. Alright, run the train system. Now it's on autopilot. We can see... Not piling up fast. On the bigger outpost, this will become more impressive, but our train system is going. And trains are cool. As you can see, nothing that wouldn't... that you couldn't do with transport belts, but... 25 might be a tad too long. Let's go with 20. 20 and 15. I I don't know, I haven't worked out like the actual timings and stuff yet. The iron line will then proceed here to the unloading station where... Frenzy of activity! All the ore is being put here in the chest where it can be unloaded. These will probably need to be fast as well. It's looking that way. But anyhow, yeah, or. So there's a nearly constant supply of new ore coming in, which will then be merged onto the iron line. And it should merge pretty well. I mean, this isn't perfectly balanced anymore. The usage is actually not perfectly balanced, because if you'll notice, the inserters on this side grab from this side first. So the usage isn't balanced, which means the whole system isn't really in balance, but... Now right here, this is handling a lot of mines worth of ore, so I think we're going to invest in a fast splitter. Oh my god... Okay, um... I'm gonna go grab some crafting materials... Gears and circuits... Cables and circuits... There we go. That makes things a little faster. More transport belt. Ah, thank you. The only thing is now I feel like I'm obligated to look at this. Whoa. This is what it looks like without the info view. They have a new, like, sprite and stuff in the new patch. Hey, I hit, I hit the little Factorio, you know, check updates thing. Factorio doesn't feel there's any updates, because it's all still the experimental release. I could play it, it's it's not a problem, but... Right here. Maybe this will help? Maybe it'll... Okay, but the system now has ore. Boy, do we have ore. And the iron line is coming back. time. Yeah, it looks like a little bit under a hundred. We did it, as you can see. Not bad. I'm reasonably happy with how this turned out. Let's do the perimeter wall to the south while I'm thinking of it. Um, and let's plan to exploit that copper. 
allows me some exploitation. I just need two bits of wall right there. Single gun turret in case anyone tries anything funny. I don't like funny business. It's actually quite a distance away from the... No, it's good to stake out your territory in this game. As long as you can defend it. Hmm. I want to use the natural barriers and whatnot. This pollution is going to start reaching those biters eventually. A lot of biters, actually. Good to be prepared before we regret it. And this line down here, maybe. Because hmm? I want to encompass this, too, which will be more difficult to defend. I think for right now, we'll just do. I don't know, I don't think it matters too much. Fuck your trees. Yeah, I'm wasting copper and steel at a time when we're low on both. You betcha. I'd waste it again. In a heartbeat. Alright, now the game changes. This is what we wanted. Now I can build cheesy builds that just rely on robots to do the work for me. And you can be assured we're going to do some of that. Uh, energy shield equipment. Now this is getting into more complex armor stuff. The question is, what do we really want out of life? Wait, why am I injured? Why am I injured? What the hell? Um, this seems like a good one, especially since we're actually using trains. What? Oh, it's a progress bar. I'm sorry, Mr. Wall. I'll be more careful. Okay, one out. There we go, these three should be fine, hopefully. If they're not, we can reinforce. And we did it. And then... I guess this will be fine for now. Well, no. One more bit, perhaps. Fuck, they're everywhere. Look at these bastards. Man, it's almost like they live here and they're the natives and they should... Never mind. Notice how the radar has encompassed a big-ass square around us. That's nice. <clears throat> Never let's play while you're feeling stuffy. It's not too much fun. Well, at least we have the walls. There we go. Alright, looking good. Except that I built myself on the wrong side, which is a mistake I've yelled at my dwarf masons quite a lot for, so... I just made it. I guess we wall this bit off and then we're okay for now. Or we could start working on the copper loading. It's a big copper thing. Probably lasts us a while. How's the power network doing? Yeah, we could probably try disconnecting the steam engines again does seem to be where some of the pollution is. I mean, the, lot, the rest of it is just the uh, iron furnaces, which eventually they will be electric furnaces. 
I really hope I'm not like out. Okay, there we go. I'm not predicting an attack along this front. But it's important to have weapons, because the biters never stop. They're actually very machine-like in that sense of... If they are given cause to attack, they will attack forever. Even if you run away from them, they will pursue you fucking forever. Because if they didn't, they'd be less bastard. They'd be, you know, that would give you less reason to hate them if they disengaged, like, you know, intelligent people. No, they just keep at it. Alright, defense is up. I guess we could expand it down here if we need to grab more stuff. Alright, there's the next target. When we need it. Honestly, it doesn't seem like iron's our problem at this moment. Watch the train tracks, it'll kill you instantly. Uh, but let's disconnect the steam engines and see how it goes again. If needed, they're here. Now we're all on our own. <sighs> Crafting these by hand is a... I'll probably need to reset up the factory. Yeah, now we've overloaded our processing facility more than it could possibly give. <clears throat> That's that's an okay problem to have right now. That's okay. Now I'm seriously considering more copper. Because we're running out fast. Now I'll think about it. Next time... I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm a little bit more shaky on late game things than I am early game things. And we need more copper. Fast. Wow. I wasn't predicting that to be the problem, but hey, happens. Also, holy shit, we have a huge factory, guys. And actually, this is, I'm told, somewhat a compact layout, given all the shit it does. Up to tier 3 signs and robots. It gets a lot bigger and more sprawly, but that's why I like this design.